Hi, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back. It's raining. It's supposed to rain tonight, though. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to crack my windows open. And I'm going to open the blinds. And I'm going to enjoy yep. the delightful sound of rain. It is. I'll tell you. I think it, it, when I looked yesterday, it said like around 7 o'clock. It was. We got start. Uh, maybe a pirate. I don't know if this guy's not a pirate or not. He's probably not a pirate. Hello, Paint Licker, Ghost Hunter, Megalodon. King. I'm Ray. <laughs> Paint Licker. Jake. Is this challenge for you? You guys finally got me. Well, more <laughs> specifically, Shelby got me with the whole challenge thing. I was like, Ooh, what, what am I supposed to do this for this challenge for this month? Shelby's like, Pink. And I'm like, I mean, I guess. So Jordan, just as a quick FYI, looks like, according to my weather app which is uh -huh. accuweather so you know it's accurate oh, it's totally accurate. it's got to be accurate it's at least half accurate, <laughs> it's at least half accurate. <laughs> there's an 86 percent chance of rain starting at 7 p.m mm -hmm. and going until 7 a.m tomorrow this sounds freaking delightful and then it'll be rainy tomorrow all day 51 percent chance of rain all day okay we need to keep flipping that coin until it shows up heads for rain because i want <laughs> rain tomorrow yes rainy tomorrow and i then, love and rain. then next week several rainy days excellent so you'll feel right at home <clears throat> all right uh millimeter matt what's the challenge for this month so february's challenge is, is uh you gotta paint pink there you go yep it's yes, on the discord blame, blame schlebby for pink yep you can blame schlebby it's her i didn't birthday name her by name this month it's also Valentine's Day. And it's also Valentine's Day. And Jen also said and pink yes. is a great so. color. <laughs> and I said I fully support this idea. Yeah. And then I reminded them that well, and this was before both of both of them, but I, I let them know that um, not last year, but the year before, when it was my birthday month, our Discord challenge was to paint something cute and colorful. Yeah. So it fits. Yep. <laughs> you all get to paint your pink. You've been wanting to paint pinks for so long. And you can't now paint you can. Your next pink. We'll pick one model that you want to paint for fun. I did tell Shelby yes, that she had to participate. Yes, we thank Shelby for pink. <laughs> so, yeah, so we thank Shelby for pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're searching for an adequate mini right now. I would think that you would have loads of adequate minis that would be, uh, that you would want to paint pink. Yeah. Shelby definitely came up to me today and she was like, I need to find a model to paint for this challenge. <laughs> like, oh my god. You can paint literally anything, Shelby. Anything. Tons of stuff out there. We could uh, print our Shelby, if you're listening, we can print something for you. That's true. She could paint a space marine pink. Hmm? She could paint a space marine pink. I mean, of course. You painted them all. <laughs> I've been getting updates from Jason. Oh. He Please said do he tell. just got to Scott's studio. Nice. So he landed fine in Minneapolis. They good. didn't ask him to fly the plane, which is always good. I would be a little worried. Not that I don't think he could maybe figure sure it out. I'm sure he could figure it out. Maybe. I mean, maybe. For all we know, he's flown planes. Before. You know, that's one of those things that might never have come up in conversation, but might be true. most of the things he's done, but sometimes I... I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys have a good dinner uh, last we night? We did. We went Excellent. to um, we went to Culinary Dropout. Yep. Which is uh, where we had intended to go on our first date. Yes. yes. Yeah. I think he was talking to us about it yesterday while you were gone. Yeah. Because I was obviously I was curious and I was excited for you guys yeah. to have a, a nice dinner. So it was very nice that yeah. you know it was, it's funny because Culinary Dropout is I mean it's a nice restaurant. It's not like a fancy restaurant. Or, no. I mean you, know, you don't need to go done... to a fancy restaurant. No. Or well, I mean a lot of people think you know L yeah. your anniversary, but you know we. Do stuff like it's different that for everyone. We, yeah. When we, whenever we just feel like it, but um, we have done our Christmas party. This was the first year we didn't do the Christmas party there. Um, oh, do we normally do it? Well, at... we did the past couple years, but we didn't have a great experience just because oh, of the logistics group. and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. But the restaurant is is super fun, and yeah. So we um um as we were walking in, they're like, "Oh, have you been here before?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, of course, a bunch of times." Uh, oh, well, welcome back. Are you, are you celebrating anything? I'm like, well, we're actually celebrating our anniversary. Yes. 
like, oh, yeah, happy anniversary. So, you know, went through our meal and everything. And then at the end, the server comes up and was like, I heard it was your anniversary. Aww. And they gave us a dessert. And the manager came up and wished us happy anniversary. Aww. And it was really nice. That's very sweet. Yeah. That's, that is a cool restaurant. I love yeah. restaurants that are like, especially what, like, you, you see it a lot more at fancier restaurants than you do at like yeah. other random places where like, they they go above and beyond for their customers to the level of like trying to figure out you know what why mm-hmm. they're there yeah. and like if it's a special day you know well yeah because it's like it was yeah. a Wednesday you know like right. how it's many like, special occasions are there on Wednesdays but I mean there's special know? occasions so the fact that for they any day was, of the week right right exactly which is why it was cool that they asked <laughs> yeah. because I it was you really know cool. normally it's like on a weekend that yeah. people go out for special occasions well and it, so. it's always a nice little thing like if you're ha- celebrating something and you have a great experience mm-hmm. and you have a nice dinner mm-hmm. and then like the, it's like a little cherry on top right yeah. it's like not only was the service good the service was excellent. And they took care of us yeah. when it came to, like, a nice little dessert and some nice things. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It doesn't take much. No. To make it, to just, right? Yeah. It really doesn't. I mean, yeah. it's a little <clears throat> extra customer services. Fluid Art. Concert. Very much appreciated. Fluid Art. Thank you for the raid. raid. Welcome, Raiders. Hello. We are in a pirate mood today. We are painting the pirate guy to go. I don't know if this guy's actually a pirate. But it goes along with this guy, who we painted up the other day, and they both go together with there he is. with this thing. He's here in spirit. He's here in spirit. <laughs> we may or may not have a boat to paint, cat. We got a boat. We got a boat. Time to paint a boat. I might actually paint a boat today because that sounds way more fun than painting the dude. <laughs> so I'm gonna paint a boat today. We're gonna do a whole lot of dry brushing. I might even use a big old ridiculous brush for this. Well, I mean it's think? a big boat, so I mean well that's that is a large brush. <laughs> Part of me wants Just to try it. FYI everyone, we do not make this brush. <laughs> You cannot find this brush on Monument Hobby. Yeah, we'll use our regular brushes. Yet. Yet. <laughs> it's funny, though, because I look at it, and I'm like, man, that would save me a lot of time. Although I don't think I would get the nice dry brush that I would be looking for. Which is a good enough reason to not use it. Instead, we'll use our DD3, which you can buy on our store right now. <clears throat> Matt says use the smallest dry brush possible. DD1. Definitely not using that one. Or, or DA1. Sure. Even better. Millimeter right. Matt said, do you know that all pirates named their dogs the same name? I feel like there's a punchline here. Mm, nope, did not know that. What would it be? Yeah, you're going to have to help us with that one. Game delay, a 55 stream streak does make you a better person. It does, in fact, make you a better person. Mm, Nice little dry brushable (laughs) wood texture on here. Looks very nice. Big A said, now I need to listen to sea shanties in the background. Yeah, that would be so funny if we Phil, just had Siri, sea play sea shanty too. Yeah, Alexa, play sea shanties. <laughs> oh, M- Millimeter Matt, is this a fact? It's not a joke? Or, or is that the joke? It said that all pirates named their dogs the same name. It was Plank. So the meaning behind walk the plank becomes much less grim. Is that uh, like a legitimate thing? No, it's a poor attempt at being funny. Okay. Oh, okay. I was like, (laughs) that doesn't sound real. I'm like, I mean, I guess I can see that, but no. Because they definitely had a plank. Now the question is, do I paint this, build this up, and then do some 
some glazes with like a red transparent to give this like a red hole and then do like the the railings and like white that'd be cool Well, I think what probably adds to the, the humor of Millimeter Matt's joke is that I um, paused for a minute. You, you and paused to consider it. it was real. <laughs> yeah, you paused to consider it for a moment. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> and they came to a conclusion that it was probably not real. Probably not real. <laughs> uh, King Tone said, Do you wick off the excess with the transparents? Uh, no, I would just thin it down so I got a nice, you know, level of application and coverage and intensity when I put, laid it over. I would bring this up a lot brighter. Like I would do a ton of dry brush on this to bring it up to almost like a, like a kind of a pale ivory color. And then I would go over it with the red. <clears throat> Uh oh, somebody's having too much fun out there. <laughs> so it was funny hearing all of the the stuff from the peanut gallery while yeah. we're on stream. Well, especially on days when there's more people in the yeah. area. Yeah. Whole bunch of brush QC going on out there today. I know Maddie's doing oh. brush QC right now. She was like. This is like the most efficient thing that I could be doing right now. <laughs> I was like, that's really funny. Well, the new crew has really helped us. Yeah, we're like. Catch up on things. Going crazy over there. Reasonable amount of time. Yeah, you got two extra people working on those left-handed brushes today. Yep. Yeah, that's great. Because we have, what, three three new people? Well, four total. Four. Yeah, because we had one oh, yeah. who started a week earlier than, yeah. than the other three. Yeah. I don't, it's funny because I don't count Keith as part of that second. Cause right, because like, he, he was, was here separate. a week before. Yeah. yeah. Even though he's sort of part of that same group. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's the sea shanties. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed is better. <laughs> <laughs> and all the dancing because Jason's not here. <laughs> I wish we could play music because I would be like, let's play mu let's play sea shanties and sing sea shanties all day. So and we'd good. have to get Gabe in yeah. here for that because I'm no, not singing them alone. <laughs> <clears throat> Thanks, Gabe. <laughs> Never, never a dull day. Millimeter Matt, it, it's as much of a thing as the dogs named Plank. Rare parrot? I don't get it. Rare parrot? Am I saying something inappropriate? Is that one of those, like, ship your pants? Ship your pants? <laughs> Don't ship your pants, everyone. Epic Beard, are you okay, or am I just not understanding this? <sighs> All right. Lots of dry brushing to do, folks. This is, a, this is a big challenge over here. Lots of dry brushing to be had. Oh, whoa. Made this thing turn. I gotta be careful. <laughs> Yikes. Bring me my brown pants joke. Bring me my brown pants. Do I know this joke, Philip? Um, there was another one about gas. Why am I not surprised that Philip is the one who's getting you these jokes? <laughs> Philip, you person, <laughs> you, and thank you for Monument Matt for getting all this thing prepped for yes. us today. 
Matt was Matt hard was at work here in the Part of the priming studio. operation today. Yep, yep. I have been very busy today doing other things. I forgot that ship my pants was Kmart. I thought you actually just said ship my pants. <laughs> That's why it's so good. <clears throat> It really is like. Sadly, I don't think it worked for them, right? Because they definitely are, are, are not around anymore. Who are not? Correct. Kmart? Kmart? I feel like Kmart still exists. Or Google. Yeah, Google will tell <laughs> Google all. Google knows. Kmart is dead. <laughs> what was that? That's Gabe laughing. <laughs> because I, sh I said shit my pants? I think it was because of the joke that uh, oh, Phil? Phil put in there. Captain sees a ship on the horizon. Oh. <laughs> I did have to read that twice. I did have to read that <laughs> twice. Oops. You know what? These are not actually glued on. I'm going to take these off. These are glued on. Except for that one. This is odd. Okay. Well, we'll just have to work around it. Well, so Kmart has six remaining big box stores. Three in the U.S. Virgin Islands. One each in Miami, Long Island, okay. and Guam. So yeah, not their uh, their funny commercial did not help them. I guess not. <laughs> I, th I I do believe that there is a, a store called Kmart in Australia, but I don't think it's the same. Not quite the same. Kmart Although it might be a similar concept, like a just a kind of a big Kmart ripoff. Get everything kind of store. Wide work. 27 miles from you, but you're not in one of those places, are you? Aren't you in the Midwest? Wikipedia could be wrong? Is that what you're saying? Well, I mean, Wikipedia is not necessarily like a... <laughs> what? A great place to find what? information. Jen, you know this more than probably anybody else. No, I here. do know this. <laughs> <laughs> you are the most well versed in this knowledge. I, I would spend entire class periods discussing why students should not use Wikipedia for research. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can I, use it to get a quick idea. I, I mean, Superfuzz, I'm uh, going to show my age as well. Everybody knows. But um, yes, I do remember. I remember Kmart vividly. When I was a kid, my favorite thing were the ICs. Were the ICs? Is it ICs there? Oh, it still shows up, but when you look at the store details, it just says closed for all days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's true. Ghost Hunter said Wikipedia does not list Wizards Butt as Monument Hobby's best color, so we can't trust its veracity. Accurate. You use veracity? Oh my goodness. Somebody's trying to be fancy over here. Uh. Fire Arc, hello. Welcome back. I still like my favorite word that I, I taught to Shelby. Which one is that? Uh, recalcitrant. Recalcitrant. I love that word. Oh my gosh. So Jason just said that... They go live at 2.30, which is in 10 minutes, 9 minutes. <laughs> See y'all later. <laughs> so, I mean, I want to watch that. <laughs> should, should we just raid over there? <laughs> oh, my gosh. At least a 75-cent word. It's worth more than 75 cents, Shelby. It's a great word.
I laugh really hard when authors use really fancy words for no reason. It's like the person that you're like is talking in this setting would not use these fancy terminology. Like it just like wouldn't have this kind of vocabulary. Yeah. Doesn't I mean, make there's sense. gotta be people out there who do use words like that in their normal conversations, but they are rare. I would think. Yeah. I mean, I like using fancy words cause I think they're funny. Well, yeah. But like, I don't use recalcitrant on a regular basis. <laughs> exactly. I just think it's a cool word. Ghost <clears throat> <laughs> understood. I went to college, so these words better be worth more than that. <laughs> uh, Superfuzz wants to know what the pirate ship is for. It is for a cool little project that we're working on. Uh, it is from uh, Blood and Plunder a very neat game and uh yeah we're just having fun painting it up on stream i'm just doing a light dry brush of uh light umber on top of dark umber <clears throat> and then we're probably going to do a dry brush of yellow ochre on top of it built up those dry brush layers What is the fanciest word that you use on a regular basis? Oh my gosh, I don't know, I'll have to think. That's always a fun one. I know I tend to try to use fancy words every once in a while, but I don't use them all the time. No. And I also don't think about them all the time. I yeah. just like it's a word that I always thought was cool, so I just used it instead of the like regular version yeah. of it. <clears throat> SS recalcitrant. Six cylinder samurai says factor a trinomial. Are you in the right stream? I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure you're <laughs> in the right stream for that. Fire Arc Jason is in Minnesota right now. Yeah, uh, he's playing hooky. Sitting in Miniac Studio, getting ready to start their stream in five minutes. They're painting today, right? Yeah. They're gaming tomorrow, yes. painting today. Yeah. Yes. Game stream is tomorrow. Nerds. Those nerds. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if they're still streaming when we're done, then we'll definitely raid over there. Oh, for sure. I would love to watch it. Um, so. <laughs> he's just like it's funny I asked him, I'm like, are you gonna be still streaming when we're done? Can we rate you? He's like, Well check first. <laughs> check first. He has abandoned us for different nerds, yes indeed. Yeah, how dare he? <laughs> how dare he Fanciest is my fanciest word, says Paint Licker. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it, Paint Licker. <laughs> just don't forget. <clears throat> pink this this month yeah do what you can because you did it for shelby but maybe it's also a little for you paint liquor <laughs> i don't know if i'd go that far ghost editor will definitely rate if they're still streaming when um when we're done here oh nomenclature is a good one nomenclature is a word that i actually use yeah. Uh, I feel like there's different tiers of words, right? There's like your every everyday use, like like things, mm -hmm. other silly things like bad and good and yeah. stuff like that. And then you have like that middle tier that everybody <coughs> also uses. And then there's like a tier above that where you get words like uh, nomenclature and stuff like that that are things that you hear on a somewhat regular basis. And then there's stuff like recalcitrant. Like yeah. nobody ever says that. Yeah, yeah. Like I have, I have fun words that I don't think are necessarily fancy or like, you know, like smart words, but they're just fun to say. Like conundrum. Conundrum. Yeah. See, that would be like. I like flabbergasted. Yeah. They're just fun to say. I would 
classify those in the like nom- nomenclature. Yeah. Like yeah, they're common, but they're sphere. long. Yeah. Multi-syllable word. Yeah. Paint Liquor also has a February birthday. I, we, I was doing our calendar for the month today, and we've got a lot of birthdays. Mine's not this month. So no, you don't have to worry about me. But we have um, the young William, whose birthday is the today. The young William? Oh, right. Yeah. Young William. The young William's birthday is today. We have Brennan's birthday is tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. We have, um, and then... Those are the only two, the, the dates I remember off the top because they're today and tomorrow. But then we also have Shelby's birthday. We have Matt's birthday. They're both here in chat. And we have Kyle's birthday this month. Like Kyle Kyle? Kyle Kyle, yeah. So. Oh, I'm going to make him so embarrassed. Lots of birthdays. Birthday. We're going to have, did, did Carter tell you we're having a little birthday lunch tomorrow? No. Nobody <laughs> tells, a, nobody said, tells me anything. Carter said, uh, um. Because Carter's like, what kind of? Because he wanted to get cake for William's birthday, and I'm like, yeah, we got a lot of birthdays. We can just have everyone's birthday celebration, get cake. And um, he's like, okay, well, what kind of cake should I get? I'm like, I don't know. What, what kind of? What do you think people want? Maybe go ask everyone. He's like, okay, cool. I'll go ask. And as I do, I'll tell people that we're gonna have lunch tomorrow. So apparently, it didn't come to you. <laughs> no. And <laughs> you know what? He said it was. I said very nice he things said it to was him unanimous today. Unanimous red velvet. I did not have input on this cake decision. <laughs> this is unacceptable. I didn't. I was not even consulted. Well, you know what? It's not your birthday, so I guess it doesn't matter. Fair, <laughs> but also unfair. <clears throat> I mean, you would have been outnumbered if you wanted something different. Because what, Bill? <laughs> He probably did it while Phil, oh, Gabe, and I were on our lunch date. Only the February birthdays got to choose the cake. Okay, that was that's where I'm. I was born in February. I he was Jordan. We all know you just said it's not your birthday this month. <laughs> Who? I could have been lying. Well, <laughs> just very Gabe, disgruntled. Although right Gabe now. said he got to give his input. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. Know. Okay. Here we are in this, but yes, red velvet is a good choice. And yes, there will be pizza. Oh, there's gonna be pizza? Yes, we're gonna do pizza and birthday cake. Where are we doing pizza from? I don't know. Costco pizza. It, I mean, that would be a, a decent choice, probably. Yeah. Because I don't it's, like borrows. It's also very cheap. Yeah, and it's and good. also very good. Yeah, yeah. that <clears throat> might be a thing, actually. The only the only crappy thing is you gotta go get it. Right, which we would anyway. Because, like, borrows, we would have to go get. Yeah, Costco's just a little bit further away. I wonder if the one... The business one does not. Does not have it? So we'd have to go to the one. I don't think so, at least. I was told that it did not. Okay. Well, I'm just going to let Carter know that... I could have been, been lied to. And definitely call it ahead of time. Like, like ahead of time. <clears throat> Because I made the mistake of shopping and then ordering a pizza, Uh and they made me wait for 45 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's not For one pizza. And it was a cheese pizza. So. But I will eat the heck out of some Costco pizza for lunch tomorrow. I love Barrow's, but. Too cheesy. The, the, it, cheesiness is not necessarily my problem with Barrow's. It's saltiness. Um. Are you are you on a different 16th Street in Osborne than than me? Because you do remember that we all used to work at 16th Street and Osborne, and that's <coughs> not where Costco is. Because this one does not, so it has to be. It's well, it's 44th and Thomas. Is <laughs> where the Costco. Yeah, it's 44th is. and Thomas. <laughs> Which is which is close. Tomato potato. <laughs> yes, tomato potato indeed. <laughs> I'm Jack Tim. Hi Tim. Hello. <clears throat> oh. Because Shelby said everyone knows you gotta order and then shop. Well, now, now I do. 
<laughs> Would have been nice information to have ahead of time. But as we know, nobody likes to tell me these things. So, you know. <clears throat> Richard reads, it is pink. Pink is the challenge. Pink is the challenge. I just posted the Discord link. Pink is the go challenge. Check it out. Dave Portnoy says go to Crust Brothers. <clears throat> I'm not sure. None of those words make sense. I would feel comfortable going to a restaurant called Crust Brothers. Pizza crust. Uh, I know. A little suggestive. <laughs> it's not Crusty Brothers. Well, that would be weird. That would be weird. You know what other thing I really like from Costco hmm. is their uh, their like mocha freeze. It's their uh, their like cold brew and mocha mix. Mm. Like a frappuccino y kind of thing. Like it's slushy. like a frozen. Like yeah, a, yeah, 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 frozen. yeah, yeah, yeah. I never. It's really good. I never <laughs> think to go to the little food court area when it's, I go to Costco. It's great. I go to Costco. I get my stuff and I leave. Oh, I just realized that I... Oops. That will go unsaid for a while. Will Jason paint a pink model if I ask nicely? I bet he Probably. will for you, Shelby. Oh, for Shelby? Yeah. Ooh, maybe. It's tough. That's a tough one. I bet he will. He probably might. <laughs> Costco has the best beer battered frozen fish. Blech. I don't eat fish. Oh, I need to find out if they have some good tartar sauce. <laughs> they probably do. Yes, that's your your challenge, Shelby, is to convince him. <laughs> Not for the rest of us. You don't have that kind of clout. That's that's probably true. I don't even think you would paint something pink for me. So. <laughs> All right, first layer of dry brushing is done. <clears throat> now, I gotta pull Oof. this list back out. So Jason really likes Shelby, but <laughs> I, there, are, there are limitations for everyone. Yes. So I don't think that that's good advice for her paint liquor. <laughs> Next, we're going with some yellow ochre. And this, I think we're going to do predominantly on the side of the boat. Because I think I am going to do that, like, red lacquered look <clears throat> over the, the outside. The inside, I'll keep wood. More traditionally wood colored. Although I might do some light dry brushing on the inside just to build up the vibrancy a, a touch. Doesn't need much, just a little bit of a little bit of brightness because I'll put some like lay some greens and things into there to make it feel like there's some some like mold and stuff. We want it to feel warm. Worn and used. T. Schmidt said, Jordan and Shelby, this month's challenge has me painting a model that's been waiting a year and a half since I got it. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I'm curious to see what you're going to paint. Oh, game delay. Awesome. 
But Matt said that he thought about pasting the whole thing in yellow ochre just to see what you'd do with it. <laughs> I I kind of gave you uh, the freedom to pick whatever. Into oh, this is cool. <laughs> Who I made this? Opening up the mini hack stream in another room. <laughs> Yo, okay. Whoa, it sounded really buddy. nice this time. Too much freedom, you couldn't handle the pressure. Oh, it's still, it's still, you can still hear that? Sorry. Oh, whoops. Okay, is that better? Did I get it? Okay. Or do I need to just close it? It should be muted. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> Jen's over there playing DJ. <laughs> the music is gone, but is that better? Well, Although, to be fair... If Jen was really playing DJ, we'd be listening to Taylor Swift right now. Oh, th that would not be my choice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Taylor Swift would probably be a good good guess as to what your choice would be. Yeah. Though. Well, yeah, the music that was playing, whatever. Would not be your would choice. Would not have been my choice. Well, and, yeah. and he said they were starting at 2.30, but they're not off. So. Lazy All bums. that was for nothing. They're ahead of us and not behind on time, too. Come on now. Right. And he said... Lazy bums. 3.30. Pretty our time. All right, all right. We're, we're building up this color here. This boat is, in fact, for a game Richard needs. Richard reads. Richard does not need to read, because he is Richard Reeds. Richard, it might be a special stream because Jason's there? I don't know. It's a special stream because Jason's there, for sure. Yeah. The game, it, uh, the boat is from a game called Blood, Blood and Plunder. Blood and Blood Plunder. Blood and Plunder. Pirates. You ever want to play a game with, with crazy boats and pirates? This is the game for you. What do you do with a drunken sailor? I don't know. You sing the that that thing. Is I'm gonna be honest. I have never played it. I would not know. We we have the the starter box, and we're just starting to get some models put together for it. Broken chef. Hello. I am well. I will let Jordan answer how he's doing. I'm fantastic. <laughs> Minus the fact that I wasn't included in the decision about cake. <laughs> I'd be doing I mean, much better. Do you better. like red velvet? Yeah, red velvet's okay. fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Obviously, I'm hamming it up for the audience. <clears throat> oh, is that the answer? You shave his belly with a rusty razor? Sounds right. Oh. Uh, Superfuzz wants to know where you find out about all of these model games. He said all my LGS has is 40k. Is there a website? Um, that's a great question that I've never thought about. How do I actually? I mean, a lot of things I hear about from word of mouth. Um, Gabe or. Philip or somebody else will come up to me and be like, Hey, did you hear about this thing? This thing's pretty cool. You should check it out. Uh, I'm sure that there's some place where all of that information is collated for you into one viewable stream of information. I would, I would assume that there are probably some discord communities that talk a lot about gaming, 
some Facebook groups. Spiky talk Bits is about pretty gaming. good. Rob over yeah, there Spiky does a pretty Bits. good job of talking about new stuff as it comes out. By the way, he responded to the email. Rob responded to the email you sent out to Monumental Studio. Oh, did he? He just said word. Thanks for the update. Word. Thanks for the update. <laughs> Almost. So rather than assigning the ticket, I just figured I would just pass that along okay. to you. <laughs> Great. I'll I'll have to to message him back and poke fun at him. Oh, are these all the answers? Uh, so what do you do with a drunken sailor? Shave his belly with a rusty razor. You notice that these all are the same cadence. What do you do, what do, you with, do a with a drunken, drunken sailor? sailor? Shave, shave his, his belly, belly with a rusty razor. razor. Yeah. Beat him with a hose pipe till he's sober. Throw him in the brig with the captain's daughter. <laughs> Put him in the longboat till he's sober. Okay. Are these sea shanties? I believe <laughs> so. What's up? I am mortal. Combat? You are mortal combat. Oh, all right. Lots of dry brushing today, chat. <clears throat> you know, I don't do an Irish accent particularly well. Irish? Yeah. It's one of those, like, I, some accents I can do really well sometimes, and some I can't do very well hardly at all. <coughs> more dry brushing, more dry brushing. Overlord tweak, immortal. Com I am Mortal Combat. <laughs> Vexing workshop. Hello. Accents are one of my few skills. Yeah. Irish is one of those ones that I always have to hear first. Mm -hmm. I have a hard time remembering it. Uh, Richard Reed said, Baby J, are you entering any painting competitions at a deep decon? A deep decon? A deep decon. A deep decon. Uh, no. <laughs> I will not be... <clears throat> I don't really do a bunch of painting competitions. Um... The only one that I really would would like to enter would be Nova, um, and I don't because we support it. Uh, we sponsor it, so I don't feel comfortable participating in it. I, you probably wouldn't even be allowed. Probably not. But re regardless of whether or not I'm allowed, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing yeah. it. So, you know. Um, and I... The only thing I really care about when it comes to painting competitions is working really, really hard on a project, which I don't have to be doing a painting competition to do, and getting feedback from my peers as to things that I can work on. And a lot of these people, I can just shoot a message and be like, hey, can you give me some feedback on this? I wanted to get your two cents. So... That, I, I don't, I really don't care about the whole, the whole competition of it is, is less exciting to me. Uh, the exciting part is working really hard on a project and feeling really excited about it and sharing it with other people. I just want to really quick interject and make sure you can't hear any additional audio. I believe I have it <laughs> muted, but things are happening over here now. Yeah. So I want to make sure you guys can't hear um, and, you know, it's it's funny. I would love to go to Monte San Savino uh, to participate. But I think the thing that I'm the most excited for for going to a show like that is less about the competition, which is funny because it, it, that is what it is. Uh, but it's it would be a wonderful place for me to meet other painters who love the thing that I do. Like, we all paint really fancy models and we love doing it and we love the art of it and we love talking about it. So, I mean, that's what I would be excited about. Plus getting to go to Tuscany, getting to go to Tuscany would be pretty cool. Wouldn't be bad. So. Broken Chef, he is uh, in Minnesota. 
with Miniac. It's Miniac. And their stream is starting up. Yep. They just hit the go button. It says starting they're, soon. They're booting it up. So, I mean, I don't want like all of you to abandon ship here. No pun intended. Or maybe I did. <laughs> uh, That's a pretty good one. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I'm not going to lie. If they are still streaming when we're done, we will raid them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indeed. A show. Yeah. Sounds like a pretty good business trip. Yeah, I mean, I'll say. Those guys are, are great. I would love to have, to have a trip to go out there and, and hang out with them. They're good people. Oh, well, I'm good not company. sure which, which that was related to, the Monte Sansino or the Miniac. Which one? The Paying competition sounds are like great. a good business trip. Oh. I mean, both of them would both be. Of them would be. Uh, paying competitions are a great excuse for my brain to focus, which I appreciate, and uh, and I like prizes. But sometimes the competition gets in the way of enjoying the art. Yeah, it's like I that that's the thing that I, I always keep coming back to, right? It's like I don't feel like I should have to be forced to have a deadline and to work on this. You know, if I want to work on a piece and put my all into it, I just need to work on a piece and put my all into it. And, you know, and, and take it to that level that I would take it to, right? And you don't have to have a painting competition to do that. It's a good excuse, right? If you're like, hey, I'm doing this, you give yourself a deadline, and you're like, I'm going to paint as hard as I possibly can to as high of a level as I possibly can between now and Nova, right? And I'm going to submit something for Nova. Great. That's awesome. Right, gives you an excuse, gives you a, a deadline, gives you a plan, which works for a lot of people. Um, I don't really have a lot of opportunity to enter painting competitions, nor do I particularly feel like it uh, at this point. Um, now, I did get, uh, <laughs> I did get a, a lot of people while I was at Nova were like, why didn't you enter? <laughs> I, I got, I got, I literally talked, like most of the people that I talked to, they're like, why didn't you enter? I was like, and I had to say it over there. I was like, I don't feel comfortable participating in an event that we are sponsoring. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's like, and, and if I wanted the feedback, I can have the conversation that we're having right now, <laughs> you know? And that's like, cause that's really the only thing. Cause I don't care about the prizing. I don't care about that stuff. It's cool, right? It's nice to get the recognition. It's nice, whatever. But, you know, I do this because I love it. I don't do it because I want people to think that I'm good at it. Yeah. <laughs> JP Gray, Baby J is running the ship. Literally. Literally. <laughs> I am running the ship. Is, if you were a Marine, is that hole in the middle of the ship a problem? <laughs> well, technically, Does that all the way? belongs to this. Oh, yeah. That's not going to forever be a, a hole in the ship. But yes, a hole in the ship, not great. Not great. Also, to be to be frank, having no bottom side to the ship, <laughs> also not great. So. Yeah. But I hope that makes sense to, to those of you out there who are talking about painting competitions. And don't get me wrong. I think that people should participate in painting competitions because the feedback is good to have. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's really important to get really quality feedback on something that you've spent a lot of time working on. If, if, your, if your goal is to grow as a painter, I think feedback <clears throat> is, is one of the most important things because it takes, a lot of the time it takes an external pair of eyes to really see things objectively a lot of the time. Um, <clears throat> and it helps you identify things that you might not have thought about adding or incorporating or, you know, improving to the model, right? Because when you're learning, your eyes are only so good at catching certain things. And as you grow and as you progress, your eyes will get better and better and better and better. But there's always somebody out there who has better eyes than you. So, in my opinion, I think it's really good to 
to do that. And painting competitions are a great opportunity for that, right? Um, but I would never go into them expecting to win or to, to do super well. The whole, like I said, the whole point is to have fun with it. And if, and if competitions are your jam, then do it. They exist for a reason. If you want to stack your metal against the, the people around you, do it. If that is your drive for getting better, then by all means. Everybody finds their motivation and their drive in different places. So, you know, my source of passion for, the, for my projects that I work on is going to be different than everybody's. But hearing about my insight into it might help you formulate your own opinion or have an opinion, right? Yeah, I've entered one painting competition, like a one real painting competition. And it was Nova many years ago. I want to say this was back in like 2017, 2018, maybe. So like six years ago. And if I were to show you that model compared to like the sacrifice, that model is not nearly as good as the sacrifice. Oh, JP Gray. <laughs> JP, we got a new Discord challenge up. We do. Hope you're ready to paint some pink. You have the. You, you certainly have the, have the tools. <laughs> Yoga Homa, thank you for the gift sub to AC Miniatures last night. Well, that was nice of whoever did that. <laughs> Probably Jason. That might have been Jason. I know he was hanging around chatting with Aaron a bunch last night. Yeah. But if if we did that, you're welcome. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Aaron's Aaron's a great guy, does lots of fantastic work. We are happy to share the love of painting. One of the things you'll, if you are new to our channel, you will find out about us is we, even though we manufacture paints, we just love spreading the hobby. You know? Also, we make fantastic paints. You should try them out. <laughs> but, but uh, no, we just love growing the hobby and making everybody love painting more. So we like to support all sorts of different creators out there who paint. And... Aaron happens to, to love what we do, so he's a good friend, who, one of our monumentals as well. T. Schmidt, haven't been feeling the competition draw this year. Okay. Yeah. I mean, T. Schmidt. It'll come back. You're participating in our challenges. That's all oh, that I care about. That's, I mean, there you go. Paint Liquor is debating between Mermaid and Demon Prince for the challenge. Demon Prince. I was going to say Mermaid. Or both. <laughs> both. I'm down for both. February 1st. It's the shortest month. You got plenty of time. I have a mini X stream open here in another, in another window. I'm no, seeing see a it. whole lot of people. I'm seeing a whole lot of From not. Mars. Also oh, in theirs. Oh, you guys. Timers. Hey, you know what? They can support both of them at the same time. <laughs> Oh, I wish this I could hear guy. <laughs> they have a big thing of what? <laughs> What's up, Chuck? How you doing? They are traitors. <laughs> Both of them. Even Scott. I'm going to tell it to him to his face.
How does the monthly challenge work? So Sapo, I will post up the Discord link one more time, mm -hmm. just in case you missed. While it. Jen is posting it, I'll give you kind of a quick overview. All the details for reference are in that challenge document. They're, they're posted or pinned, I should say, uh, to the top of that uh, channel. And basically the way that they work is every month we will provide, or I will provide a, a challenge for the month which is purely just a kind of a prompt that will be fun or interesting for you guys to work on over the course of the month. Um, it's not really a painting competition. We don't look for who has done the best painting, you know, technically from that perspective, but we like to look for people who have done a good job at um, following the prompt and in the spirit of the prompt and the goal of painting for that month. So last month's challenge was very special because it was more of a, we wanted you guys to find a project or a, a project to work on and pick a specific technique that you felt you needed to, to work on. And that was your challenge for the month to paint a model with that particular thing that you didn't feel that you were particularly good at. Um, and the goal for that was to establish a baseline, A, practice it for that month, work on that, and kind of see where you felt at the end of the month. And the next year, uh, in January, I want to revisit it again. So have you guys do that same challenge, come back and see what a year looks like in, in the progression. So we do stuff like that. We also do stuff that's a little less kind of involved. We do stuff like this month, which is... A uh, very simple challenge. The whole plan is to have you guys paint pink. So, just all you got to do is use pink paint and paint a miniature. And uh, you'll notice there <clears throat> that the goal is only to paint something that's like predominantly pink. It doesn't have to be completely pink. Like, you don't have to use like all different shades of pink to paint the whole model. That's ridic ridiculous. But yeah, like the body for Marathi or you know, a mermaid or something like that. Great, great, great plan for doing pink. Uh, and Nelvok, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Yes, hello. It's... Glad you were able to catch a stream. Yes. We love having all sorts of newcomers join us. Whether you are just new to chatting on stream or new to the stream entirely, uh, welcome. You are appreciated and thank you for being here. I'm having fun painting a boat today. <laughs> we were showing off Wizard's Butt over on Miniac stream. Oh, <laughs> I should use Wizard's Butt on this. Oh, I can't use Wizard's Butt on this. Never mind. Why not? Uh, I have to use a selection of colors. Oh. Stay within the palette. I'm using a limited palette of colors. New to the stream entirely. Been in the Discord for a couple months, though. Awesome. Awesome. I hope you've had a good time hanging out with us nerds in the Discord. Ooh, some pigs. Oh, like a cool three little pigs. Oh, that'd be cute. Set or something would be fun. Like my uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears that are mm -hmm. evil. Oops. Oops. Hey, well, screw it. She's a hundred and sixty dollars. What? Uh, Jake thought I was all right at painting until I started watching videos about miniature painting. Realized I didn't know much at all. Hey, That's the first step. That is the first step. And uh, there's we... lots out there. So many resources out there yeah. too. Yep. And, and we I'm are sure here to help. you are just fine at painting. Yes. Don't don't compare your your work to other people's mm -hmm. work. Only no, compare no, your no. work to your work. That's why I always like to tell people, it's you know. Other people have backgrounds in painting that are not the same as, as yours, right? Mm -hmm. I've been painting miniatures for 
20 years and I've been doing it professionally for seven. So I've been painting models 40 hours a week going on six and a half years. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah, lot of you gotta, hours. You got to remember, too, that a lot of people, especially those who are making video content, have been doing it for a very long time. Yeah. yeah. We have, we have okay. a bit of an advantage, and yeah. it's called time. Yep. <laughs> Which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It just means that we have a lot of knowledge that we can pass on to you mm -hmm. while you're learning. And it will make your experience better and faster. Because we know the pitfalls that we fell through and... You know, you'll find your own pitfalls, which is great because it means you're going to learn stuff. So never fear about the beginning of your journey on learning how to paint better. Because if you're having fun with it, then you'll just, you'll just have a blast. It'll be totally fine. Yep. Yeah, take your time. There's no rush. Dry brushing and shadows was not part of your painting vernacular. Oh, that's, that's fair. Everybody learns different things at different times. And you know what? And there's a lot of people who don't dry brush ever. So yes. it's not like something that you have to do on every model. Yep. You don't have to feel like you're missing, on any, missing out on anything if you're not dry brushing. It's a tool. And like many different tools that exist in the world, not everybody uses the same type of tools for the same type of project. There are and a lot of different ways that you can build a house. And this, Jake, what you're saying here is, is perfect. Not necessarily comparing as much as it is studying to improve my talent. Great. That's yeah. fantastic. But That's don't, the let way it, look don't let it discourage you. Don't let it it's discourage you. It's definitely yeah. our, our point, our main point. Yeah, I mean, the whole, the whole idea behind dry brushing is I'm using a slightly damp brush and I'm removing a lot of the excess paint and then I'm lightly brushing it over the model. And it's just catching all of that raised detail. I'm also not pressing super hard on the, on the paper. So let me see if I can get it. Practice makes progress. That's absolutely correct. So when I'm doing this. And JP, you are correct there as well. Learn from Jason that he can tattoo, but he won't tattoo me until he tattoos Jen. And that might never happen. <laughs> I mean, nine years yesterday, I've been waiting a long time. Is that yellow ochre? It is. It is. Good catch. It is, in fact, yellow ochre. One of my favorite colors. Oh, I just realized that I can't use red transparent on this. So I'm going to have to make it. I'm going to have to fudge it with some burnt red, I think. Which is fine, because we can make a glaze out of burnt red. Gabe is over in Miniac's chat, too. Ooh, time off. Jabe, what are you doing? I don't know. I wish I could hear God, what you're they're supposed saying. Because be cause Gabe said, uh, it's going on the whiteboard. It's going <laughs> on the whiteboard. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm a terrible multitasker, so, so, so that will become I. very evident as I'm trying <laughs> as to the watch stream, this. As the this. stream proceeds. <laughs> not very Jen, I, I need you here. I'm still here. I need you here, Jen. <laughs> For another 54 minutes. <laughs> I'm at, they've got to still be going on afterward. I, I, they afterward. didn't start till three, so. Yeah. Yes. It will take more than an hour. So right now what I'm doing is I'm cleaning off the brush because it was getting pretty messy and full of paint. So I'm just scrubbing it to get all that excess paint out of there. 
just getting it a little damp. Not getting the whole thing super damp. Just letting a little bit of that water kind of help get in there and agitate some of this paint free. McFluffin 404, thank you for the follow. That's a good name, McFluffin. <clears throat> All right. So we're looking pretty good on that. All right. So we'll let that dry off a little bit. We're going to use. One of these older angle brushes or flat flat brushes You'll do a little bit of this as well because this will let me get in here be a little bit more detailed in here in these crevices what would be pink on the texture trainer her hair yeah you can do her hair in pink you do the her her coat in pink. Paint liquor. Got it. Monument Matt said sometimes the best way to get better is to just do more. Even if you're not painting to your best standard, you're still painting, still learning, and you'll see improvements whenever you try to push yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> Good advice. Well, there's also like there, there are ways that you can practice that are very efficient in teaching you things that you will remember better. One of those things is very intentional practicing. So focusing on a very specific thing while you're painting and making that kind of the, the rooted core of what you're focusing on. So if I were taking on a project and I was like, okay, I need to work on dry brushing and this was my, my dry brushing plan, I would be taking a lot more time to, to think about how I'm dry brushing, how the paint is coming off of my dry brush, how it's all being affected by the amount of paint and how damp my brush is and things like that. <clears throat> and that's the focus of your project. And obviously you want to get it finished and, and you want to do all those things, but thinking about the very, very minute things that you're doing that are all affecting that process of that technique, that really will help build up your skill set in doing that thing. Um, <clears throat> so, a lot of the time, when you're just picking up a brush and painting, it'll it'll take you really far. But you also want to spend some of that time with very focused practicing as well. JP Gray Pink Hair is awesome, first of all. But. Also have fun with it. Don't spend a lot of time doing stuff that you're not going to have a great time with. So, you know. All right. Our next dry brush is going to be with Warm Flesh. So this is kind of our, our next stage of highlight. And we're going to go really light with this. I'm going to get a fresh towel. <clears throat> And uh, this one I am only doing on the sides. I'll move this up here so you can see what I'm doing here. I have a little bit on the on the palette paper. I'm getting some of this extra dampness out of my brush here. What see. color is that? This is warm flesh. Warm flesh. And I'm using warm flesh because it is still. It's warm, so it has a little bit of that yellow to it. So it's gonna not feel as pink when I put the uh, the red over the top. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit on the brush and we're just gonna kind of massage it into the brush there. We got a little bit on the edge. Now we're gonna take it and we're gonna lightly 
dust it over the surface here. And you'll see the texture is becoming a lot more apparent now that I'm working this over the top of that those previous layers of color. Can you do me a favor, mm -hmm. Jen? Can you pull up a picture of a sloop? Of a who? A sloop. Sloop. Yep. That's the type of... Yeah. Uh, boat that this is. I want to find some pictures of some old sloops. <clears throat> I love how there's like a bunch of like Minecraft pictures on here. Look, look at this one. It even says "Blood and Plenty Ship Overview." Hey, look at that. <laughs> That's the other one. There's actually two different sloops that come in the the core box. This is one of them. See anything here that is relevant uh, to you? Actually, I really like that one. Uh, middle of your screen. Uh, it's actually one of the Blood and Plunder ships. Uh, up one row. That one. I'm gonna click on that. Yeah, I really like that red on the side. Mm -hmm. which is very cool. Although it's got like an interesting strip. I think I might do red with black on the railings. I think would look really nice. So I'll do that. And then we'll have the the monument flag flying. Although, so did did anybody tell you about my plans for the the rigging and the sails on these? Yes, I was here that day. It wasn't yesterday. It was Tuesday. Did you hear about the bomb snails part of it? No, no, no. Okay. I just heard the monument shirt, like or a shirt with the monument logo. Yeah. So, so there's obviously there are. We have sails. On this ship. Over here, right? Sails, and then at the top. We have like. Oop. I'll just do it this way. We have the this spot where it's like a small sail here. And then a spot for a flag up here. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking <clears throat> we do either a slow fuse and a gentastic unicorn mm -hmm. as the two ships, both flying the monument flag, or two monument ships flying different flags. Oh. So one of one of the two options. I don't know what they are, but I think it would be funny to do a, a unicorn one and a yeah. And a, and a bomb sail one. I think Jason would get a kick out of it. Even Delay said, R, we use the warm flesh because the <clears> ship <throat> should be a living, breathing lady. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Sapo, is it normal for a brush to poof out when dry but have a great point when wet? First sable from Monument. Happens to yeah. me a lot. Sable hair is a natural hair. It's an animal hair. Um, if you think about your own hair and how when it's dry, it can get, it looks very different than when it's wet. Mm -hmm. Or can, depending on your hair texture. So, same basic concept. Jason does have a good video. It's, yeah, on our YouTube. Um, there's a very detailed brush care video. Yeah, and um, Monument Matt, Game Delay, both talking about the conditioner and using a conditioner um, mm -hmm. or reshaper. Our brush goop does that. Um, it's good to, you know, after you clean your brush, you can take some of the brush goop and just pull it, pull your brush to a point with a little brush goop on your fingers, and it will, um, it'll hold it into that point, and then you just rinse it out really well the next time you uh, are ready to paint. Game Delay, what? What? <laughs> what the heck, game delay? 
You, sir, go to the store right now, order yourself some brush goop. <laughs> You're on the hook. You're on the hook, my man. You shall be walking the plank. <laughs> I was young and stupid. All right. When you know better, you can do better. Dark British Panda, thank you. Brush Goop Believer. I love our Brush Goop. It's amazing. It's literally the best stuff I've ever used. Thank you. That's true. No need, no need to say thank you. You make good stuff. Compliments, so I'll say thank you. Well, that's fair. <laughs> I suppose. Sapo has a jar of Master's Brush Cleaner and Preserver. My Brush Goop is in the cart for a later purchase. Well, that's fine. Um, some people think that my brush goop smells nice as well. Does it does? That was a good teacher line. I've already forgotten what I said. <laughs> but it's probably just, it probably just came out naturally. <laughs> yes, the stuff with a unicorn on, the, on the, the cover. It's like a round little hockey puck kind of thing. Paint liquor, I don't see that. All right, time to clean my dry brush real quick. And then we're going to build up some glazes of burnt red. I might even mix in a little bit of um, old pyro red, too. Oh. <laughs> Boom. Done. All righty. I actually probably want to use a mixing cup for this. Uh, do boo ba boo. What day do you think you'll go over the January challenge? Next, Next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. Next Tuesday. Remember, I put all of those notes when we're doing the challenges into the notes for the challenges now. So they will say when we are going to do the the reviews so you guys can plan it. Yep. Next Tuesday. If you know better, you can do better. I left the date off the February challenge. What do you mean? I, like, literally remember typing it. <laughs> what? Is it not in there? Well, if so, then I have lied to you, and I apologize. <laughs> um, still listen to what I say, though. It's on there. You just haven't seen it yet. Wink, wink, cough, cough. Needs to be put in there. <laughs> Let's flip this around. Grab some burnt red, which I might have to steal from Jason again. Ooh, 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 oh, God. That's burgundy. Did he take burnt red? That gosh darn thief. <laughs> How dare he take the burnt red? All right, I'll figure it out. We'll make it work. It said we'll review them on March. Oh, okay. Well, I'll Did go back and edit it. <laughs> Does Monument Hobbies offer any products that will help lower my taxes? Um, no. No, I don't think so. Y yes, Schlebby. Can you burn red? Yeah. 
<laughs> From the fun fun rack. Fun rack. Is that what you called it, Gabe? The fun rack? This is depressing. All right. Well, we're doing it, folks. We're making it. All right. I need some glazed wash beam. <clears throat> right here. Oh, I also don't need this photo anymore, by the way. Okay. All right, so glaze and wash medium. Now we'll do it over here then, because this thing sucks. You're gonna try the hobby knife to lower your taxes. Depends on how you're using the hobby knife to lower your taxes. I don't know. <laughs> A little concerning there. <laughs> I, as long as you're not using it for violence, I. It's probably okay it's then. It's probably fine. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So we're going to give this a shot. That is too thin. So we need to thicken up the red a bit. We're going to add some more burnt red. Dice Warfare Gaming, thank you for the follow. Thank you. JP, are you asking about the colors on this model? He's asking if it's a personal challenge with the colors, or did, did Jabe make you do it? Jabe didn't make me do anything. Uh, no, this is not a personal challenge. But I am using a specific set of colors for this. For reasons. For reasons. That may become evident someday. But not today. But not today. Jason might say something, but Jason's not here. So. He's not. He left us. He left us. He's on another stream right now, if you can believe that. I'm, yeah. The betrayal. <laughs> the betrayal. It, uh, it runs deep in my heart, the betrayal. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of you guys over there, too, so... Yeah, you stinking cheaters. <laughs> Cheating on us with another channel. Multiple tab people. All right, so this glaze, we're just working into the flat panels of the boat. You can still see all that texture work that we've done underneath it. Punisher would never choose violence. <laughs> Okay, and Delay said, become a professional painter. Then I bet you can dedu deduct all the paints. Mm, that's not actually how that works. <laughs> I Aqu wish it Aquadish was. Aquadish Panda said correct. Well, for Aquadish, that's very likely true. <clears throat> Still got to buy them up front, though, yeah. But then I'd have to report income from painting and also make income from painting. <laughs> Yep, it's true. Maybe a small town paint lawyer, but I also almost know something about taxes. Are you a tax lawyer? I pay them when. I thought you were you were a something else lawyer. They tell me they're due. What do you do, game delay? Yeah, paint is a work expense when you paint professionally or use it for content. Also, I just totally was reading that while I was painting and got this all over. 
Paint Licker left a quick sub over at Miniac and then ran back home. Hey. I actually like how this is turning out quite a bit. Still get all that nice wood texture. I might go back over with another coat here at some point. Someone earlier asked if you were gonna paint some barnacles. No. No barnacles. No. Those would be below the sea level anyways. <laughs> so it would be on like this part of the boat. JP Gray. Don't be scared, but get some help. Because big thing. I'm gonna tell you that there is a thing called um I've already forgotten what it stands for. But it's like your sales tax. If you collect sales tax. Oh, but Texas doesn't have sales tax. Or no. Texas, Texas doesn't sales. have income tax. You guys have sales tax. Though. Yeah. Um, if you collect sales tax, then you have to make sure that you report all that and pay it. <laughs> that was one thing I learned that I did not know. Because you have to like say it, pay, it, pay it at the end of the year, right? Uh, you pay like, quarterly. You pay quarterly, yeah, yeah. I think this year is the first year that I'm going to go to somebody and be like, do my taxes, please. <laughs> and just pay somebody. To do I it. mean, have you ever used like TurboTax or anything? I use TurboTax. So easy. Uh, I had a lot of like freelance stuff at the beginning of last oh, year. Okay. That so, makes it ch more challenging then, for sure. Yes. No. I have like two or three 1099s plus okay. stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, it's enough that I'm like, eh. Yeah. Eh. Like, I've done 1099s before, and they're not that big of a deal, but uh, when you get, like, multiple areas, and you're just like, this is too much to deal with. Plus, I'm pretty sure I could probably deduct a lot more than I was deducting on my own mm. without getting in trouble. But, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Game delay, had to restart his computer, but said, I am not a tax lawyer, which is why I didn't say anything with confidence about taxes. <laughs> That's probably wise. I feel like Game Delay has said before that he's the type of lawyer that most of us will not need. Oh. I think he said what kind of lawyer he is before. Insurance? Contract? That actually sounds familiar. My father, <laughs> hold on, let me make sure I get this right. My stepdad, mom's new husband, stepdad, yes. Yeah. Um, he's an astronaut lawyer. Was, he's now retired, a, uh, he was both a judge and a uh, divorce lawyer. Funny, because when, when they That's moved... Funny. When they moved to Boise, uh, they just call him Judge. Judge. Yeah. Hey, Judge. <laughs> hey, Judge. No. Yeah. It's funny. Hebron Bat G. Tax talk. Been working in tax for over a decade. Went from preparing them to auditing state taxes now. Don't admit to any tax fraud on stream. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, yeah. Nope. Probably a good idea to not admit to any kind of fraud on stream. That's just taxes. <laughs> great idea. Hmm. 
No. I also have friends who are just like, yeah, I just have somebody else do it. And it's so easy. I don't have to think about it. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that sounds kind of nice. I think it's Ru- interesting. I think Ruben has someone. That, oh, does he? Yeah. I, uh, I've also never lived in a place that had uh, income tax Income before, tax, yeah. Which is very interesting. So I'm, I'm curious to see how that impacts based on like the withholdings and everything mm-hmm. for the year. So it was very interesting. Hmm. I like it. Does it need a second coat? Hmm. We'll keep on going and we'll find out. My gosh, it's 3.30 already? Holy cow. It's 3.30 and it's February 1st. Which is just another, like... Oh my gosh, it's February. Already. It's already February. Yeah. yeah. You would think that just don't admit would be easy, but you'd be amazed what people put in writing and mail to a government agency. That is insane. <laughs> you know, I've I've like I've felt like I needed to explain things and then I'm like, wait a minute, I'm probably over explaining things. Yeah. Not just to, about taxes, but like just kind of in general. Like sometimes if you explain too much, it's not good. I would be fine if I did it myself. It's just the hassle. I'm lazy. I have somebody else do it. Pay him to do it. I am very interested to see all of the challenge models that come through next month. Or for this month. Yeah. Have pink is pink is a different one. Oh, you're talking about the February. The pink, yeah, yeah. The, the February challenge, yeah. It'll be very interesting. Ugh. So yeah, I'm basically mixing this kind of glaze with just water, um, glaze and wash medium, and burnt red. And it's nice because one of the, the really nice things about burnt red is even though it, it feels pretty dark at first, when you thin it out, it, it lays over bright colors really nicely. So this kind of feels like just a slightly weaker old pyro red but it's not quite as in your face so it works better for these types of initial glazing steps Ooh, game delay i've seen those investigations on the news which one for dateline <laughs> game delay said also if you're applying for social security disability and some government employee shows up asking about a crime that happened down the street they don't care about the crime down the street they're checking to see if you're as disabled as you said you are <laughs> That's funny. I've seen those stories. The hidden camera, person, you know, trying to claim that they've been injured and have some big lawsuit. And then it shows them, like, running a marathon and lifting a refrigerator with just themselves and doing all kinds of things that they should be able to do. You're not disabled. Liars. <laughs> I have my good days and my bad days. You just have to catch me on a good one. Ah, my back. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I'll see. Yeah, because they'll <laughs> they'll believe you. They'll take you at your word. I would love to have this boat done by the time Jason gets back, because he's gonna come back and be like, "What the heck? Why is this boat done?" I had a person show up and do that, then go, oh, you are in a wheelchair. Also, why are you hugging me? (laughs) 
that's a callback to uh, hugging Jason Momoa because he's in a wheelchair. And there was one other person, JP. I can't remember who it was. What happened? JP, we were talking about Jason Momoa the other day. Uh -huh. And JP Gray said, I met Jason Momoa at our favorite restaurant in Iowa. And I got to hug him because I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Abuse of power. Come on now. Henry Cavill was the other one. <laughs> or no, did you hug Henry Cavill or you want to and you think that it would be guaranteed? Yep, this. Abilities <laughs> that don't show up in a short conversation and someone who may be fine for 20 minutes won't be fine. Absolutely. Yes, also, yeah. yes. They probably only send those people out to people who are easily identifiable. Yeah. Like, uh, hey, I'm missing a leg. <laughs> yeah, and if and if they walk up to the front door and open it and say hello, and they don't have a missing leg, probably don't need disability. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said before, I think it was yesterday. I would I would love to meet Henry Cavill. Yeah. I think that would be a lot of fun. Oh, there it was. I want to because I'm his, his twin IRL and would totally get away with it because of the wheelchair. <laughs> My understanding is Cavill's an introvert. Good luck getting a hug. <laughs> Just painting a boat. We're painting a boat. Painting a boat here on the street. Painting a boat. Sorry about all the sirens. Apparently people are doing things in places. We're around the corner from the fire station. We are. That's a lot of vehicles though, to be honest. There's something something's going on. Uh, got anything fun planned this weekend while Jason's out of town? I mean, he'll be back Saturday at like five, so oh, really? he's not oh, really out of town okay. for the weekend. I thought he wasn't back until Sunday. Well, never mind then. Jade, you're out of here. Good night. Bye, Jade. Have a good one. We will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Need like a lazy Susan over here. Is this boat painted? Possibly, maybe tomorrow's gonna be weird for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm parroting oh. what it said. Possibly, maybe tomorrow's going to be weird for you. Well, I hope you're okay. Yeah, me too. Hope not weird in a bad way. Hopefully just weird in a weird way. Who goes there? Hello. What? Of course. You may not. I'm just kidding. Hi. <laughs> okay. Nice. Cool. Nice. The other chair has better lighting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, Still get the red chair. People tend to look a little dead well, in that hol one. Well, hello, man. Like this is so nice. Yeah. Well, we were Christmas? trying to That's bring also... that for Jason, and then Jason said no blankets for me. Oh. Uh, and the remote's on the little table there in the middle seat. Yep. Got that chair. I think, yes, I got it.
We have, we have a Matt. My name is Matt. Monument Hello. Matt here. Hello. In the studio, hanging out. Oh, it says device is not connected. The the man. Oh yeah. Who... Uh, I can't remember. Source. Yeah. It, it, and if you click that one, it should work. There, there it is. There we go. Man who painted up the the boat. <laughs> Started the boat. Panda, I said the same thing, and I uh, um, was just about to say it, and then Matt came in. So, uh, Jordan, you should know that Ghost Hunter over in Miniac Stream just said, replace Jordan or replace Baby J with Miniac. Uh. <laughs> so, Awkwardish Panda and I both said, we Excuse are telling. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? We could never replace you, Baby J. I freaking hope not. <laughs> Remember, I'm the smart one. What would you guys do without me? The pretty one's gone. So <laughs> That's true. Oh, the pretty yeah. one's sitting right here. Well, <laughs> we are a tier below on both. No, accounts. no, that's fair. Yeah. That's, that's true. 100%. Jen's playing a different ball game entirely. Jason and I, however... We fight over the prettiest versus the smartest. <laughs> He's currently winning the pretty game. I'm currently winning the smart game. I'm not sure who's getting the better deal. <laughs> Your mileage may vary. My, yeah, that's true. Mileage for both will vary. This boat is kind of a pain in the butt to, to handle. So I missed the bit. Are, are you using, um, is that burnt red or the transparent red that you're uh, using? This is burnt red. So burnt I can't red. actually use transparent red. So oh, I'm okay. teaching everybody how to use our glaze and wash medium to get similar effects out of the non-transparent colors. Oh, that's right. Because you guys it's have a pain in the power. boat. It's a pain in the boat. It is a pain, a pain in the, in the boat. <laughs> well, you did a wonderful job getting this model prepped. So yeah, thank you're you. welcome. Uh, that's looking oh. sharp. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. <clears throat> Philip, I think, might be watching Miniac right now, so he probably didn't see How the game delay. How dare you, Philip? Gabe's watching Miniac. Of course he is. Well, Game Delay said, when you said the pretty one and the smart one, I thought you were for referring to Philip both times. Nope. Oh. They're, if they're watching Miniac stream, nope. <laughs> Not true. Traitors, the whole lot. Yep. I'll tell you right now, if you're watching our stream, you're way prettier. Who's your favorite trader, and why is it Phil? <laughs> Who's your favorite trader, and why is it Phil? Jake A said, if I had to use this ship for a diorama, I'd have a door behind it on its wake and a guy hanging off the side while a girl waves at him from the deck. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking that you would reenact funny. Titanic. I, that's yeah, where that's, I was thinking first. Like, would, would it be like a whole thing with water and a door? Oh, yeah, the door hanging off. I was reading it as hanging off the side of the boat, like a door. Never mind. I got it. Yes, it was Titanic. <laughs> uh, so what have you been working on over there, Matt, in your painting table? Um, so I... Just about finishing up uh, Talia Vedra for my Cities of Sigmar. Mm -hmm. um, lots of little details left on that thing. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's, there's almost too much. They, they could have. You don't even see most of it once it's more than a foot away from you. But I got to paint true. it because it's there. And to those of you who are not familiar with Matt, why don't you go ahead and uh, give everybody the lowdown on who you are? Who, who who I is what what you like doing um yeah so I uh I am a lifelong hobbyist uh, much like Jordan here and I've been painting forever um I joined Monument uh what about I think this might actually be my eighth month now in February have you been here uh, eight months now That's yeah crazy. I had my six month in uh January heck? so no what this would heck? be seven then okay um yeah yeah it's, it's it's close it's going by fast it might as well be yeah. eight months um and uh yeah so I, I joined last summer and been loving it rocking it out in fulfillment mm -hmm. nice. um helping everybody get their stuff when they order it so that's that's been a blast um and uh 
I get here early every day so I can set up my go bag and paint and uh, occupy too much table space. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wish I was cool enough to do that. I live a block away. I have no excuse. We'll get Matt painting on stream. We've One got day. A, we've got, like we were saying before, like, a, like a, we've beefed up the crew. We got we got plans. We got lots of efficiency happening around here. <laughs> lots of That's efficiency free up, happening here. That's to true. free up more people or <laughs> free up time for people to join in on the stream a lot more often. Yes. Because we and we've talked about that specifically Indeed. that we know that you guys like to meet the meet the team, mm -hmm. and find out who's making the stuff and sending the stuff to you. Uh, so we're we're getting to a point where this year we'll definitely be able to do that more often. Yeah, I'm looking forward to being able to do that someday. Well, Get it going. I'm excited for that. That'll be fun. I'm going to make a, make a stream out of it. Do All I right. like painting pink? Uh, <laughs> it's not a color. I feel like I'm going to learn to love it this month. Um, I, I've got an idea for the texture trainer that I think will be a lot Ooh, of fun. awesome. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, my texture trainer that I started. I don't remember where I put it. I think it's... Still in my office. Because I started one at uh, LVO while I was there. Order fulfillment is full. JP, you, you own a business. You don't have time to fulfill orders for us, <laughs> and you don't live in Arizona. Hey, you're in, like in Texas or something. Yeah, it's not exactly a uh, work-from-home no. type gig. <laughs> no. Can you imagine? I, Everybody has to uh, keep inventory at their house. Oh, jeez. <laughs> The logistical God. nightmare. Yeah, on so many levels. On so many levels. So. I actually kind of love that everybody is not remote. Because oh, I, yeah. I love everybody that I work with. Like, you guys are mm -hmm. all great. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we got a great crew here. I would be, I would honestly be very sad if I didn't get to, to hang out with everybody every day. <laughs> Need a truck driver? Not, not yet. Maybe someday we'll have a fleet, but right now we rely on USPS and UPS. Thank you for all that they do. They do a mostly decent job. <laughs> Game delay. Are you one of those crazies who orders like four bottles of white at a time? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what people are working yeah. on when they order. They're just restocking, four man. Four or five bottles. And they're like, hey, we don't, I don't want to have to wait. I want to have it <laughs> right away. Waiting is an unacceptable state of mind. That's true. There's no substitute for when, when you really need something, there's, there's, yeah. there's no waiting. You you know, when wait. you suddenly find you're out of something. Oh, Sapo is, is uh, volunteering to be your, your bodyguard, Jordan. My bodyguard? Yeah. Man, do I need one these days. JP Gray, order primer tomorrow. There's your reminder. Didn't JP Gray, like, have everything? Yeah. Didn't we send you primer? Yeah. I mean, I didn't make that order, so I wouldn't know. Are we all applying to Monument? I could live <laughs> with having a job in the miniatures industry. We, uh, I mean, you're, we are always taking resumes. We are not currently um, Hiring. looking for anyone to, to join the team. We, we don't have a spot right now, but we are growing rapidly. R still. Rapidly. <laughs> People ordering four whites at a time have to be drinking it. <laughs> don't eat the much? paint. I didn't send you primer? Oh, sorry. I'm, tell I'm telling you guys, don't so eat the darn tomorrow. paint. All right, painting up these little, little covers. JP, are you near one of the the Houston stores that you can go grab it? All right, let's see here. Let me, let me get a bird's eye view of this here Chipperino. It's looking good. I think so too. Looking good. The question is, I kind of like the lighter color for the these this banding. Yeah, 
I agree. Um, I was going to do it black, but now I want to do it a brighter color. Hmm. What's, what's the palette that you have? Uh, I mean, I have a lot of different options. Okay. So, coal black, dark warm gray, dark umber, dark gray blue, camo green, burnt red, bold power red, light umber, yellow ochre, warm yellow, warm flesh, bright ivory. Travel Cedric, I'm doing the same thing. But I have to so have, I have, to have Jason everything? muted. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Hmm. I was thinking maybe I just do. Did you say bright ivory was on there? Bright ivory is on there. Yeah, that'd be too bright as like a base coat. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, I could mix bright ivory with full black or dark warm gray, and I would get something that would work. I was trying to keep it secret. Yeah, it would. It would still read as red and white. I mean, maybe, maybe we do that, and then I can do this bit on the prow here in white as well. The question is, do I do this in white? And I think the answer is probably yes. Yeah, we'll do we'll do that. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of dark warm gray. Jake, your wife is correct. We do not eat paint. Don't eat the paint. Don't eat the paint. <clears throat> Touch of bright ivory. Need to have a way to have one stream in one ear and the other in the other <laughs> ear. <laughs> that would be sounds very delicious. confusing. That's a it sounds for like a an migraine. absolute yeah. nightmare to me. I'm having a hard enough time having the other one muted next to me. I'm just not looking at it. Yeah. Jen has it like up in front of me <laughs> so I can see it. But I'm not looking. Those cheeky buggers in their thieving ways. What if the world is ending and I'm locked in a container with only paint? What do I do? Let's you paint see stuff. If this is bright enough. Well, it is 354, Jordan. All right. Well, we'll get one side of this done. Whatever, mm -hmm. Gabe. I know you were watching Miniac. Yeah. You, you <laughs> cheater, cheating on us. Gabe said this is looking awesome. Well, thank you. Gabe built it, or most of it. Matt finished building it. Matt primed it and base coated it. And now I'm painting. It's like a team effort. I think I do this base coat. Maybe I give it a little bit of like a wash mm -hmm. with a little bit of like brown and a little bit of gray. And then I give it a dry brush with the bright ivory. I think is the play here. No. Not reading any of these. <laughs> Jen's like, I'm just not reading these. Screw you guys. Oh my gosh. If I've ever played this game, I would literally just want to recreate ships from... One piece and just play <laughs> with those ships. Which, Jen, you probably are totally unfamiliar with this, but it's a it's an anime. Oh, it's, yeah. a, it's, it's, it's a pirate anime. They all have like these most ridiculous like ship designs, like just stupid, mm -hmm. just stupid, stupid. But it would be really, really fun to see one like built in yeah. person because yeah. they're so ridiculous. They would make cool minis. They would make very cool minis. They would. <clears throat> like, uh, here, Google. Uh, I got to go lock the doors. So never mind. I Don't Google, Google right it. now, but I will Google later. Oh, yeah, we only got a couple minutes left.
I think the nice thing too is this will cover up a lot of that kind of the roughness from some of the um, the cleaning that was done on the side here. Yeah, because it was a mold had a lot of mold lines on it. Yeah, it was so. a nasty mold line running down the. Yeah, I, I tried to clean it up a little bit. There's only so much you can do with you know within a reasonable amount of time, right? Yeah, right. You got to make that decision of like, okay, I'm gonna stop here. Because it's good enough. Or you stop here because you know that the paint will cover it up. Right. It's like another way to do it, right? That's one of the things I've learned to love about the consistency of our paints is that because it's already thin, you can really not slather it on, but you can be really generous with it mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily going to clog up details or mess up a mini. Um, right. And whereas, it's got really good open time too, right? Yeah. That's the other part. You know, whereas when I used a lot of like, you know, Citadel or, or, you know, some other brands, I felt like you had to thin them so much that you ended up needing two or three layers to, right. to really get through. And it's just, it was just a nightmare. Beautiful thing about Pro Grill. Yep. I now exclusively use Pro Grill. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't touched my other paints since I started working here. Man, getting here early in the morning and painting sounds like fun. I like this. This looks nice and clean. Yeah, it looks good. I love that the texture shows through on the red. Yeah, that was definitely the idea. Yeah, definitely smart going, um, you know, after all that dry brushing work, going transparent. Yeah. We are all shills for Pro Grill, 100%. Blood paints, we, well, we, we have it. It's, it's called Dark Crimson. Dark crimson. That's our blood paint. It's it's a high gloss, really dark, rich red. That's going to be your best bet for uh, for bloods. I actually have a really good demo model for it here in just a second that I can show you. Sweet. I get this nice clean line on the inside of this. This guy. Oh, yeah. So all the blood effects that I did on this guy are all with that dark crimson. Right out of the bottle. And you can see I built up a little bit of volume on it as well. It actually looks like blood droplets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> baby J saving me from spending on Citadel <laughs> this is not your everyday cave troll my friends this is advanced cave troll I think doing a nice little wash of a little bit of brown and blue would look really, really nice. I love using brown and blue for washes. It gives you this really nice mm -hmm. kind of earthy shadow color that just works so well as a shade. Advanced Cave Troll, a pearl grill color. No, we would never use such an obtuse name. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, Advanced I... Cave Troll. What color would that even be? We do have Dark Sea Ben, to be fair. 
But that's the only yeah, one. Yeah, that was that was a. An... Then we can blame Ben for that one. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be cool to get all the accents done on this. Let's see nice. what the ship looks like. Cover up this bit of excess airbrushing over here. Went a little too far, maybe. Well, it's a little after four, so I think that means it's time for me to bounce. Been hanging out with everybody. Yeah, not here. Yep, I gotta get get going. Alrighty. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you again for your help today. Yeah, you're welcome. <clears throat> and we will see you soon. I will see you tomorrow. All right, chat. Just you and me. Just you and me now. Thank you for the follow, Nelvok. Hope you are enjoying your your first time here. Well, hello. hello. Welcome back. I'm back. Is everything appropriately locked away? Seems to be. Well, I think that is probably time, folks. Yeah. Because I got a lot of stuff that I got to take care of before I head out of here tonight. But I am very pleased with how the boat's turning out. Get ourselves a nice large look at it. I like the red. We got the the gray that's gonna end up kind of being a white on there. <clears throat> and then yeah, we got the these guys. I think that'll look really cool. I'm very excited. Well, Jen managed to put up all these links for us, so thank you so much for that. We're going to go through these real quick, you guys. Uh, first off, if you are new here, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Uh, we're going to be closing out the stream here now that it's 4 o'clock. Uh, don't forget, we stream five days a week, Monday through Friday. Monday, yeah, Monday through Friday. I almost counted out every day during the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> um, so we stream Monday through Friday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., so... Uh, we are on Mountain Standard Time right now, so if you take your time and subtract whatever time it is, because it's 4 o'clock here. You can Google it. You can Google it. You can figure it out. It is <laughs> Google is your friend there. Um, Plus, we send notifications. We do send notifications out. So give us a follow. You'll see when we go live, etc. cetera. Um, Jen so kindly put up a whole bunch of links for us. So the first one we got up here is our store link. So all of the paints that we've been using here on the stream uh our paints that we make and manufacture here in arizona through monument hobbies um and that's a perfect place to get those paints as well as all the rest of the hobby supplies and hobby tools that we make uh you can also use the flgs link which we've provided as well to find local game stores near you where you can go pick up all of our stuff in store uh we are always happy for you guys to support local game stores around you why we have a great partnership program with them to get products out there in the world uh, also our discord, we talked a lot about our discord challenge today, uh, which is pink for Valentine's day and Shelby's birthday this month. So, uh, check out the discord. It's a fantastic place. We got th thousands and thousands of fantastic artists for you guys to all nerd out and talk painting and do all sorts of funky nerd stuff. Um, and we also have all our challenges on there as well. So check it out. Uh, our YouTube as well is a great place to find more video content for, we put up all of our VODs for the old streams. So if you miss a stream, uh, we move them from Twitch to, to YouTube, um, usually within a couple of days. So we're getting pretty on top of that. Uh, if it's behind, just blame Jay. <clears throat> we're going to raid Miniac. So if you, uh, missed out on having your Jason fix for the day, he's over there. Yes. He left us. To hang out with Scott. Yeah. He, so we're going to send you guys over there so you can enjoy uh, the fun. Because yep, it so, looks like they're having a lot of fun over there. <laughs> yeah. So hang out with the raid, or hang out and stay for the raid, you guys. Uh,
thank you so much again for hanging out and uh we will see you tomorrow bye bye bye